Hi everyone, Larry Satchwell here at the bandsaw today. Today's project, a toad abode. The garden is full of toads right now and toad tadpoles, and I'd like to keep them around. They eat a tremendous amount of insects. So today we're going to build a little house for them, a little fanciful house. I have a piece of red cedar here I've been drying out for years. It's been on the side of the barn. I'm going to start with the roof. This is a piece of apple tree I had to cut down. It is full of ants and there's still a lot of ants in it. So they're gonna be running all over the place. But I wanna to try to outline roughly this log here, because I'd like it to fit right there. And if I can get this one to fit right here, I'll be in the money. This has a limb that's really flat here, but it also had a big gap here. So I've glued this on here because one thing you don't want to do is with a bandsaw is to cut into unsupported wood. Bandsaw, the bandsaw blade travels down. If I were to push this in here with unsupported wood, the first thing it would do would be to grab and probably break the bandsaw blade. So right now, this says I've got pretty good control of this right here, and I think I can make a safe cut. Let's see how we did. Uh, that's a good fit. I wish you could smell the shop right now. It smells like you just opened up your grandmother's cedar chest. So the next thing I'm going to do is hollow this log out. And I need an entry point and exit point. The bark is coming off right here. I think that'll make a pretty good entry point. The bottom's pretty flat. This is a job that calls for tight bond three, waterproof, weatherproof. So I'm going to open this up a little bit at the risk of cracking the whole thing wide open. All right. Well, this is going to need to dry for an hour or so. Sounds like a perfect time to go fishing. I'll be back. I said I'd go fishing, opened the door, and the 92 degrees hit me and I came back in. I think this would be a good place for a window, and I think this would be a great place for a door. So 
Let's get that a little bit smoother. Well, that certainly changes the look of it. I'm not sure for the better. Well, I kind of like that. I think I'll put the door right there. Well, that was going nowhere fast, so I took it back to the bandsaw and cut this piece a little bit thinner. It was about an inch and a half thick, and it's just too much for the coping saw. So let's give the coping saw another shot here. So that's the back side I want to flatten. It just fell apart in my hand. No worries. Now maybe we worries. Super glue. You're gonna get an upgrade, toad abode. A new door. How fancy. So this is the piece I just cut off of here on the bottom. I think we'll go for a nice picture window right here. Time to put the roof on. For that, I'm going to use some hot glue. I think we just need one more little detail, and that's a chimney. So it's like a nice cool spot. So I'm gonna, they like to dig, bury themselves. Most of the toes I find are when I'm turning over the garden, but this has really good tilt to it. They won't have any problems digging into there. I had a little toes welcome sign. I think it'll fit really nice right here by this basket. Give them a few steps to come up to. Thanks for watching.